This is another one of those word paintings, and probably couldn't think of a prettier picture, a more beautiful picture of, than this. And I'm curious, John, what, you know, what kind of images, how were these paintings inspired um, in that sense? <coughs> well, uh, it seemed to me that um, people read, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> it might be the language of the realm, you know, rather than uh, visuality looking at paintings. I, I, I think at this point I decided to switch to text and photography, figuring that you know, people did look at books and magazines, and that may be a way to communicate. So that's one reason I began using text and text and photo. Uh, and then um, uh, the idea of just saying something, but not having it be visual, I thought was sort of interesting. Uh, and you could almost, I think I could make a convincing argument that uh, art, uh, one way you could define art is a, that it's a convincing lie. Uh, that you have to convince somebody uh, about, about the, uh, what it is you're doing. I mean, even a conventional painter, uh, if the viewer is not convinced, and then all it is is stretch a bar and canvas and paint. It's not much. But, you know, you have to, you know, win the audience over that, you know, what you're doing is more than that. Um, I began to be very much interested in film, and this is uh, a lift, uh, one scene uh, from D.W. Griffith's uh, 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 script for Intolerance. And I liked it because it, it talks uh, about a short segment of time, uh, and it's a, and a very simple gesture, very beautiful. I don't even know, you want to, yeah, no, I'm sure some painter could paint this as well. But it, it seems so beautiful, this re having it described and imagining what this very simple gesture. Could be, yeah. I mean, just to talk about beauty for a second, I, I mean, a, a lot of people will talk about this work and they'll talk about it as conceptual art is the tagline for it. Um, and of course, for those of you who don't know, these paintings are made are not made by you. Uh, no. they're, they're made by a sign painter, and the text in this case is taken from somewhere else. So you were questioning, in fact, that notion of what creativity is. Because well, like, yeah, and I also decided that, um, that canvas and stretcher bars certainly w w was a signal that it was art. And, and you wouldn't even have to, that's plenty, anything you did on it. Was art. It was art, yeah. Right. yeah it was yeah, art, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And what's so interesting to me is then again how it returns is that uh, you take away what you think of the normal hallmarks of beauty or painting in that sense, other than the simple sign that it's art. Um, and then it comes back at you the other way that this is a, for me, of course, these things are really beautiful. Well, and then if you define painting as, let's say, paint on canvas, that's what this is. It's paint right. on canvas. So then where is the argument about wh right. what painting is? <laughs> well, and you realize, of course, if, you, if, if the text comes from somewhere, if it's not painted by your hand, then the nature of what art is is not those things. It must be something else. It becomes very troubling. <laughs> <laughs>